look higher up for ways. Thank <laughs> you. 
before I let you take this fortress! I'll cut you down, Gaze! Sister will not fall to you, rabid mongrels! Fortress, Dean. Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tedmund. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised! If riches are all you care about, the Church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen! <laughs> you handle me too roughly! You will die for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane! <laughs> I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me, nothing more. This is why you batter down my gates, kill me men, for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough! I'll return you to the Saxons. Ah. <clears throat> you there! Heathens! Let this good man go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver! Give them what they ask, Kinnebert! A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow? I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? Air! I need... I need air! He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no! Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war, as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find full care ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. Fought like beasts, escaped from your hell today, Giedrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. 
May our friendship endure. This tangle briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing, with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. Too quiet here. We are the brothers or the abbot's men. I would say well met, brother, but I cannot shake off the needle itch of dread. Is something wrong? I followed the abbot here, kept him in my sight. But the monks, his servants, I have seen nothing of them. Dead? I do not think so. But there is no good here in this grave hush. And where is the abbot now? In his quarters. Come and be on your guard. Does this have the stench of betrayal to you? Why would the godly shepherd ally with the heretic? Cunebert is a man who craves power and position. With Tetman dead, he must find it somewhere else. There is truth in that. Keep your eyes and blade sharp. Guests have arrived. Come. Supper's ready. The dear abbot sent me a warm invitation, said my friends were eager to meet with me. It's early for supper, I know. But Kinnebert's ale goes so well with roasted lamb and cinnamon blueberry peas. I couldn't resist. Where is my brother? Is he... is he not here? Mon Dieu. I never told him. Kill her, and we'll never find Sigurd. Sit, Ava. Eat. And let me tell you the tale of a man who talks with gods. You mock me. I've killed for much less. Of course you have. Isn't that the way of this ugly world? We call the sheep and thin the flock as we see fit, you and I. Most who walk the earth are little more than talking blood bladders, wasted flesh. But not Sigurd. Sigurd is something else. Sigurd has been touched. He is deified. The gods they speak through him. You lured him in with that lie. Your words are bile and blight. You should have listened, Avar. I tried to tell you. The gods are real, and their power is within our grasp. <laughs> you will never find him. Not till I have had my fill. To old friends. This really is delicious, Kinnebert. Is it clothes I taste? Well... That concludes supper. 
kill them, and bring their bodies to my sanctum in Canterbury. They will be upon us soon. Maybe there is another way out. Okay, let slip that her sanctum is at Canterbury. She did, and with no cause. I'd approach the place with caution. It may be a lie. It may be, but it's the only lead we have. I hope all this innocent sacrifice is worth the trouble. It's Sigurd, my brother. Of course it is. Then come, let us dive into the maw of death. I was never keen on seeing my winter years. This will not be for nothing, Eivor. We will find... What troubles you, old man? Please, I beg you. How many are there? I must know. How many what? The stones. Every time I count them, the answer is different. First twenty, then twenty-one. The fair folk made a madman of me. Rock cannot appear and disappear. I shall count them. Run round and round. Pick up your skirts. Still drag your ropes through the dirt. Your stone centuries. I've counted them. And? How many lords and ladies come to dance a jig? There are twenty-one. I am as sure as I can be. See? Never the same. Never the same! <laughs> 
Please, count them again. You must. To save my wits. I cannot get the same. Never the same. Never the same. Cobweb cloaks and magpie hats. There are 30, I think. See? Never the same. Calciamenta mihi mundus es sapis raro sedate. They swarmed with fruitless people. Sigurd will be well guarded. Caution and subtlety should be our path. Ready? Follow me. Best not to draw attention here. This is a trap. Why would Fulke give us her sanctum? She baits us. Cocksure and arrogant. But she cannot see failure in her path. Her fearful wit. <laughs> Out 
arms back. Oh, we are to blunder in like an ox. Whatever you want, keep your head. You chastise me like a shadow. I can't remember the fuck. Nothing is served on a brutal edge. You have much to do in this life. I know it. More riddles. No riddles. There's a greatness within you both. Your destiny is not to stain the stones of this godhouse with your blood. Give me a hand with this. This must be the way to Fulke's Sanctum. Then let us go. Kill them both! Tell me that you found something. Anything we can use! I may have. A fortress in Sussex. The order trained soldiers there. We must be sure. Secret is running out of time. Anything else? Documents of interest to the Hidden Ones. Hytham will surely want to look. But for Sigurd, Porchester is our only lead. <sighs> if he is in Porchester Castle, we'll need a massive army to crack its walls. I have many friends in England now. If I call on them, they will come. They will. Basim. She severed his arm clean off. Can a man survive such a loss? Physically, he can. Mentally... It's hard to say. So much stress can drive a man to despair. If you suggest he might take his own life as Tedman did, banish that idea. I must tell my people at the settlement that their Jarl remains a captive. They will not take it well. 
We will not fail again, Eivor. I'll scout ahead and send word to the settlement when I know more of Porchester. Be ready. Where is he? Where is Sigurd? He... he's alive, but not with you. Where is he? Dag, not now. I need to speak with Ranvi. You never found him, did you? Tell us, Eivor! We deserve the truth! I need to speak with Ranvi. Step aside, now! You never found him, because you didn't look! <clears throat> I see you, Eivor! I know what you are. Eivor, you come alone. I fear what that means for Sigurd. I... I could not find him. That madwoman Fulke, she... She slipped away, took him to Sussex. We need an army. Call on our alliances. Remind them of their oath to me. We must act before... Before... Before what, Eivor? She tortured him, Radri. Did unspeakable things. Severed his arm and left it as a gift. I fear she means to kill him. Slowly. Gods. Stop there, wolf kissed. This ends now. 
Dak, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment, because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgment, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag. But that offer is gone. I have no need of it! My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home! Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death! I accept. We settle this now. Ah! A final act of courage! Very well. Let the circle be made! Goblet of your skull! Fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will be quick. You've got soft! Shit on this poor fool. He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded, you gave him. That should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. You should not have come to this, old friend. Take this. Fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, may you find it in the next. <clears throat> Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes!
Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unmanaged. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you. And I will burn the fields and dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That, that is my oath. That is my oath. I will find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl, as I promise. you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend. But I remember them well. Eivor. How do you feel, Eivor? I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. What can you tell me of Vinland? Is it a real place or merely a rumor? Rumor or not, I found someone willing to sail you there. She claims to have seen it once before. If she is willing to risk her life beside me and make the long journey, I will take her at her word. Nessa is her name. Meet her at the docks when you are ready to leave. I will go now. 
and end the life of Gorham Kjotvison where the Valkyries cannot find him. It is a long voyage, Eivor. Be careful. Good day to you, stranger. Nessa, is it? I'm Eivor. Randvi said you would be my guide. That is right. Passage to across the seas to St. Brenton's land, is that right? Randvi called it Vinland. One and the same. It is a three-week trip by longship. Arduous, dull, possibly fatal. Should we survive, you will be compensated. Eivor. Before you go, you must be dressed as a thrall when you arrive. To be seen as you are would raise suspicions. Gorham runs this new camp, and it is a good bet all but a few will be loyal to him. Good thinking. Only taking care of our prize Drenger. First things first, Eivor. My ship, my rules. Second, you follow the rules. Third, if you listen to my rules, you live. Understood. Good. Let me know when you're ready and we'll get going. I will leave my gear behind and dress the part. To Vinland we go. Hop in! We'll leave now! weeks in the whale road. Past mountains of ice and kingdoms of stone. Saga lands. All this way to kill a man. Gorham Kjotvison. The son of my father's old foe. What dark work does the Order have so far across the open sea? Someone in charge. I'd better step with care. No friends here. You! You look stronger than most of the others. What's your name? Yora of Jorvik. Yora? As in horse? My father never wanted children. What is this place? Newhaven. A wild place found on no map. Are we settling here? That is not our plan. Too many wild folk in the woods. They threaten us? You ask too many questions, horse. Your task is to keep your mouth shut and do as I tell you. Now, unload that ship and then I'll have you carry those Hildi! carrots. Hildi! Hildi! We can't find Olaf. Look, he says, not again. We cannot send supplies to Gorn without his guidance. Ugh! Haul what supplies we have to the nearest camps, then. Gorm's men will do the rest. Let me go. I can carry whatever supplies Gorm needs. That's Olaf's job, horse. Not yours. You stick to this port and keep your head down. 
Ask around about Olav. Someone must know where he has run off to. If I can find this Olaf, he may know where Gotham is. Grab a shovel from Gorm's storehouse. No, it is a rotten place, that storehouse. Have you seen it? A bloody mess. If it's a mess, then clean it, Dunbury.